Connor, start the new season. How's the preparations been? How's the mood in the camp? Yeah, excellent. Um, I think not just this week. I think if you look at pre-season as a whole, it's been a very, very positive pre-season for the whole group and the club. So to go unbeaten in pre-seasons, uh, always a good sign, but it doesn't mean anything come tomorrow at three o'clock when the, when the real game starts. Of course, you just touched on that, an unbeaten pre-season. Of course, pre-season is more about getting fitness, but it must give the group a lot of confidence going into the first game, especially with the opposition that we played this pre-season. Of course it is. Um, as you touched on there, we played opposition in the league above, two leagues above. Um, even Premier League, Premier League opposition have come down. I think we've been excellent. Um, the problem you've got is it doesn't really necessarily have to translate to results by when it comes to the league game. So we'll go out tomorrow. We won't be too overconfident. I've, we've watched Hartley Pool in depth um, as much as we could with the footage we've had. Um, they're an excellent side with a really, really good manager. So we're expecting a tough game and I'll be shocked if Hartley Pool ain't up around the, the top eight coming into the season. So it's a really, really tough test tomorrow. Of course, a lot of new signings gel in the squad over pre-season. How have you felt that the new players have, have come into the squad this summer? Yeah, I think as you've seen with the performances on the pitch, they've gelled in really well and that's, um, that's the case off the pitch as well. Um, first and foremost, we always look to recruit good people. I think everyone that's come in is great lads. They want to work hard and they've they fit it in perfect. Like we, we, as I said, there's been no no unrest or it's not caused any issues. They've they've come in seamlessly into the group and how we are already. A lot of that probably comes down to the stability we've kept from last season. So they fit in there lovely and um, I think that's shown on the pitch and uh, you've seen with the performances it doesn't seem like it's rocked about too much. Obviously you know you know how it is. A lot of new signs can often take a time to gel, but we seem to have done it quite seamlessly uh, over the course of pre season. As I said, that's down to the people that we've recruited as well. Uh, yesterday we announced that Sam Granville has gone on loan to Beaconsfield Town he spent a short term loan there last season how good will that be for his development? Excellent um, as you said yeah, he done really well there last year and um, even with the change of managers uh, they liked him and it's a good sign that obviously they wanted him back and they can rely on him to be fair to Granville he's had a good pre-season he, he's a fit lad he come back and done really well in all the runs and all the fitness work um, it'll, it'll do him the world of good to go and get another 20-25 games from between now and January and then Hopefully he can come back and see see where he is in terms of getting to our side. But it's, it's another great experience. As I said, another 20, 25 games under his belt. And men's football will do him no harm. And for you personally, this is your first league game as assistant manager of the club. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, of course. Always excited. Um, I think throughout the whole club, you can feel that excitement now that the league's finally starting. Um, we've obviously touched on the positive pre-season. But me personally, as assistant manager, yeah, looking forward to getting going and seeing what we can achieve this season. I think that's the, the mood in the whole camp from the players, the staff, right up to the top. So I think as a club, we feel like we're in a good place and we're hoping for success this season. And just finally, is there any update to team news, injuries, etc.? No, no, no fresh injury concerns. Um, pretty much the same players available that there was last week against Cambridge. We're moving forward with squad looks good. So with no issues this week, we've had a clean bill of health this week. So we're going in, as I said, positive for the, for the new season. Connor, best of luck for tomorrow and thank you for your time.